Hello, witches. It is I, your gender non-conforming local practitioner. Finally here with the list of 2021 goals, which took me three weeks to agonize over and then 30 seconds to write. Um, so, we're finally here, and I realize that it is nearly February, um, but we're doing this now. So, I have only ten goals this time, um, but it's probably easier to work with because I've got to set my bar low to disappoint myself later. Um, so, let's just get into it. Uh, the top two are the most important, in my opinion, and those are shadow work, which I need a lot of and have been putting off, and spirit work. So, in the several years of my practice, I haven't really sat down and wrote out all of my interactions and relationships maybe with the spirits that I actually work with uh, besides the deities because that for some reason is not as hard to you know think about um, but the number one thing is shadow work and I actually forced myself outside and did a little bit of a ritual meditation thing and did some shadow work journaling and I my hand is way more brutally honest when it writes things down, uh, and then my brain's like, wait, why did you tell them that? Uh, so, it hurts, but it's probably good coming out. Uh, and then for the spirit work, I have realized over the last six months or so, there was a few, um, entities, spirits hanging out on the outside of my, like, tunnel vision of <clears throat> practicing, I guess, and it is high time for me to sit down and recognize them and learn their names and figure out what they're trying to do and accomplish with me. So those are going to be the number one and two um, goals, I guess, for this coming year because they need to be considered. Um, number three I have as journaling and self-devotionals. I love watching other people's demonstration of going through their journals and how messy they are and I think that's just great. Uh, but when it comes to me doing it, I just feel like I have this brand new notebook that I don't want to ruin. Uh, so it just sits there, empty, because it's nice. And then the notebooks that I don't so much care about just get filled with to-do lists and shopping lists and it so, uh, I just, I need to get another dedicated, like, art journal that can take paint and markers and ink and just make it messy and get over myself <laughs> and keeping it nice and neat and tidy. Uh, the other thing about journaling is, is that, that I either force myself to do it every day when I had this thing about doing it every day when I was, I don't know, 13. And then I would keep myself up every single night until 3 or 4 in the morning just writing every single detail from the day. Otherwise I couldn't go to sleep. So it's either that or I forget about it. And I write, like I plan out a month, like January, and then I come back in August and I'm like, oh, oops. So that and the self-devotionals, which I want to make into more of a checking in with myself and write down just what I'm feeling rather than a whole compiled, nicely worded letter of just write swear words or I don't know. It depends on the day. Uh, number four is finding a personal aesthetic. As you see, I'm, I'm working on it. This has been a big deal for me because I've just been bits and pieces of everyone I've ever known. So I want to have this concrete look. <laughs> it's not even a real witchy goal, honestly, except for like, you know, I need some signature, I don't know, jewelry or something. Uh, I just, I feel like I haven't figured out who I am yet and need to take time to figure out who that is. Um... Number next is outdoor rituals, and as I said, I just did one earlier this afternoon, and uh, it was really nice, actually. So I want to do that more, especially as we're getting into hiking, and 
I just want to go outside and do some stuff uh, in nature rather than keeping my rituals contained in the house. Um, it's really nice to actually get out there and ground and look at some birds and wildflowers and, and trees. Uh, so yeah, outdoor rituals. I would really, really love to have a bonfire, you know, and go out and dance naked around the bonfire, but that I don't see that happening anytime soon, so we're doing what we can here. Uh, the next one is get back to wild crafting. I kind of slacked this last summer and I was depressed and so I didn't really get much done. Uh, but I really enjoy it and I really like watching the videos of other people doing it. Uh, just pressing flowers and I actually got, I got a flower press, finally. So I'm going to be doing that a lot more. I did save a bunch of rose petals and stuff from last year that I have been putting into like letters and we'll get to that in a minute uh, to send to people. So yeah, there's that. The next one is don't just showcase the perfect moments, showcase the messy moments and this might be a little bit of a rewording of one of last year's goals but I tend to take, especially for my Instagram, I tend to take some really nice pictures um, like, oh, look at this perfect timing for a sunset or flowers or whatever. Uh, and there's not a whole lot of, like, behind the scenes uh, practicing, really. And I know people don't like to show their altars a lot, and I'm fine with that. Uh, but I do want everyone just to get a little bit of an inside look as to what happens behind the scenes. It's not all glamorous. You're not going to get in full ritual gear uh, just to do a simple spell. So I want to make that a little bit of a new normal and show everybody what goes on behind the scenes as well. Uh, so yeah, if, if I'm in pajamas doing a spell or, you know, making my Sabbath meal, I, I'm in pajamas. <laughs> and I think that should be normalized. Uh, the next one is make a memory box. I've come to the realization that I hold on to things from the past until it hurts me. And I need to, A, write myself letters. Oh my god from the future, and B, uh, put them in a box so it can physically, ow, be shut away um, so that I am not just letting it all rattle around inside my head. I need to actually either find or make a box that I take a certain thing and put it in there so I don't have to always think about it. And if I want to go back at some point and go through it and just set aside a time to be sad, then so be it. Uh, the next one is make a besom. Like, how, how do you call yourself a witch if you have never made one of these? I really wanted to make one for Yule, uh, with the cinnamon and everything, but it didn't happen. So, I, I want to do that. Plus, I needed a simple goal on this list. So, that's the simplest one. Uh, find some branches and, and tie them together, maybe with some herbs. I can hang them up in the kitchen. Um, as we are moving, I will need to redo the decor of my entire kitchen space. So, uh, looking forward to that. And the last one is slow living. Sending snail mail. Uh, I've done this to one of my friends for Yule. I sent a hand-painted letter with a handmade envelope and a wax seal uh, to her house. And I kind of want to do that for every holiday. Uh, but the next one's coming up so fast, I don't know if I'll get that done. Uh, homemade food, cooking at home more, doing more art, pressing flowers. As I said, it's a kind of another rewording on domestic time, but it's something that really needs done. And as long as it's not the exact same goal two years in a row, I'm fine with it. So that is the overview of my next year's goals. There's only ten of them, but let's see if I can get them done. That was a lot of talking. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.